the killdeer is one of the most widespread birds in North and Central America. It's a shorebird that can be found on lawns, golf courses, parking lots, and athletic fields. Killdeers have a very loud call that sounds like killdeer. This is also why they are called killdeer. This call is often given in flight as the bird circles on its slender wings. Killdeer can be identified through their large heads, large orangish eyes, short bill, brownish tan top, white chest, black and white patches on the face, and killdeer are roughly the size of a robin. You can find killdeer on open ground with little to no vegetation. That's why I often find them on trails while walking. Killdeer typically run a few steps forward before stopping and looking around. When they get startled, they fly and call extremely loudly. Back in the 18th century, killdeer were also called the noisy plover. Killdeer don't visit feeders, but if you have a large yard or fields on your property, you could find killdeer on your property. Oftentimes, killdeer will nest on gravel rooftops, but this is dangerous for the fledglings because the chicks eventually need to get off of the roof. One set of chicks, however, survived a drop from a seven-story building. When predators come near killdeer, they will pretend that they have a broken wing to lead predators away from their nest. However, large herbivores often won't fall for this act, so instead the killdeer will puff itself up to try and make it change course before they step on their eggs. Killdeer pick out their nesting site through something called the scrape ceremony. The male will lower its breast to the ground and scrape a shallow divot with its feet. The female will then approach and take his place, and then they mate. The oldest recorded killdeer was 10 years, 11 months old. Killdeer are also important for many cultures and traditions. In Celtic mythology, for example, the killdeer is a symbol of healing and regeneration. They are also associated with courage and strength as they do not fear standing up to predators. In many Native American cultures, the killdeer are seen as a symbol of protection and good luck. In some stories, they are seen as the bringer of rain. In other stories, they are seen as spirit animals that can help guide people on their spiritual journey. The Talumni Yokuts tribe of South Central California tell a story of a killdeer. The killdeer is the guardian of the river in which the soul passes after death. Anyone who touches this river accidentally on their passage towards the afterlife would be transformed into a fish. The killdeer warns any soul of this as they approach. In this story, the killdeer is a symbol of protection and a guiding force. Next time you see a killdeer, remember to thank it for its protection and guiding wisdom. Let me know in the comments below. Did you learn anything new? Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can reach our goal of 300 subscribers by the end of the summer. Thank you for joining me on this educational journey. I hope to see you all next time on Bright-Eyed Birding.